For candidates preparing for the Certified Internal Auditor CIA Part 2 exam, understanding the types of evidence and their significance in the auditing process is crucial. Physical examination involves the auditor's inspection or count of a tangible asset. This type of evidence is considered highly reliable because it allows the auditor to directly verify the existence and condition of an asset. Documentation or documentary evidence refers to examining documents, records, or electronic transactions to verify the accuracy of transactions or the existence of controls. This can include invoices, contracts, minutes of meetings, and electronic records. Documents can be internal or external, and external documents, for example, confirmed bank statements, are generally considered more reliable than internal documents due to the lower risk of manipulation. Observation involves the auditor watching a process or procedure being performed by others. It's a direct method of gathering evidence but is limited to the point in time when the observation occurs. For instance, observing the inventory counting process can provide evidence of the effectiveness of those procedures. Inquiry consists of obtaining written or oral information from knowledgeable sources inside or outside the organization. While inquiry can provide valuable insights, it is considered less reliable on its own because it may be biased or incorrect. Therefore, it usually needs to be corroborated with other types of evidence. Confirmation is a type of evidence obtained as a direct response to the auditor from a third party, verifying the accuracy of information that was requested by the auditor. Examples include confirmation of bank balances, accounts receivable balances, or the terms of agreements or transactions. This is considered highly reliable evidence because it comes directly from an independent source. Recalculation involves the auditor independently verifying the mathematical accuracy of documents or records. This can include recomputing depreciation, verifying calculations in financial statements, or recalculating inventory valuations. Recalculation provides evidence of the accuracy of the entity's records. Reperformance involves the auditor independently executing controls or procedures that were originally performed as part of the entity's internal controls. This type of evidence is used to assess the effectiveness of control activities. Analytical procedures include evaluating financial information by studying plausible relationships among both financial and non-financial data. It involves comparing recorded amounts to expectations developed by the auditor.